what is something that could never be solved? This weird question came to me while I was reviewing various techniques of persuasion. I am currently on a journey through a pathway called persuasive influence, which is why this question piqued my interest. Indeed, one of the most compelling type of speeches comes from salesmen, whose job, after all, is to persuade you to make a purchase. This question, which I posed at the outset, is brought to mind when I recall the iconic scene from the movie The Wolf of Wall Street. In this scene, Leonardo DiCaprio challenges a room full of salesmen with a simple task. Sell me this pen. This particular task, set by film's author, serves as a litmus test for a salesman. It is designed to distinguish a sales guru who seems to be born for this business from the rest. The author aims to employ one of the potent techniques of persuasion identifying the client's pain, or, in other words, needs. But what if such a need doesn't exist? Can the power of persuasion sell something that's already free? Let me tell you a story about a genius who created a unique idea and creative solution to accomplish the impossible. It started like this. Two men were sitting in a bar and discussing the merits of having a pet. They pondered over the joy of having a fairy friend who's always thrilled to see you. But they also considered the dilemma. Every animal requires care. And even low maintenance pets like cats need exercise, food, and companionship. Then, one of them had a brilliant idea. What if we make a rock a pet? Indeed, it's merely a rock, an ordinary rock. It demands no attention, yet we will cherish it as our beloved pet. It will be our pet rock. Imagine walking into a store and seeing a charming box with ventilation hose. Remember, this rock is alive. It needs to breathe too. The box is lined with straw, ensuring the comfort of its inhabitant while potential buyers deliberate over their choice. And our hero here is a rock. Each rock has its unique shapes, character, and features. It's challenging to immediately decide which rock will become your ideal companion. And there are many, and each one is unique. But you might ask, how do I pet my pet? First, we need to name your pet. What's a pet without a name? Let's call it Mike. After you name it, next, interact with him as you would typically do with your pet. For instance, let's make Mike smart by teaching him commands. Here's a brief guide for you. The seat command is a breeze. Just place Mike on a flat surface and say, sit Mike, he's a pro at this. Next, stay. This might take some time, but with patience, Mike can master it. Just walk away, and you'll find him right where you left him. 
every time. They're all over. Command is a bit tricky. You might need a slight incline and a nudge to help him out. Finally, play dead. Mike's an expert in this one. No matter the time or place, he can play dead like no other. Remember, practice makes perfect. Happy training! Perhaps you are already thinking skeptically. The story is intriguing, but certainly not realistic. Who in their right mind would buy an ordinary rock? But your skepticism is shared by Gary Doll, who indeed sold millions of ordinary rocks, transforming them into humorous novelty gifts. So, sell me this rock. 